friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is stephanie and today i have a new video um i want to kind of give my bedroom a small makeover i had big plans of a huge makeover in this room but i've just been busy with getting stuff ready for my classroom so all of my budget has basically been going towards that um so the budget for the master just got smaller and smaller right now i'm just going to share with you the small little changes that still make a great impact and also share with you what the bigger plan was to do in here so before i start i kind of wanted to just explain a couple things in my room really quickly um my plan was to have wall sconces but the budget so that'll have to wait so for right now i just shopped my home i'm gonna give this one to this side of on this side of where my husband sleeps and you know that'll be that since it's like a bigger table i don't know if you can tell that there's like markings here that's because i use some like peel and stick uh headboard tiles and when i ripped them i think a year and a half ago it pulled some of the paint and some of the sheetrock in the back so I need to patch that um, I just haven't had the time but my plan is to have little pieces of thin pieces of uh, wood going vertical like that and painting the wall white so it gives me like this barn relaxing retreat feel that looks bright and airy in here. The plan is to maybe do a reading nook with a chair here with that there. But again, that's what we'll have to wait. So right now we're focusing on this side of the room for now. Um, since when you open the door, that's the first thing you can see. First things first, that is coming down. And then I'm just going to place this one because I really do like it. I think it's really cute. Um, I'm going to put it on that other side. I think I may have to hang it because it. I feel like the proportion is not right. And then let me show you what I artwork that I got from Hobby Lobby during their half off. Uh, what I want to put on this side. So they're still in the packaging because I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not. So I got these two, two different facing. This one's brown, this one's like blacky, like a charcoal black. And they're facing opposite of each other. So I think that's pretty cute. You know what? Before I even start putting like the little details like that, maybe I should change that comforter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then figure out based on that how everything will go together. So let me put pause on that and move you guys. Okay, right about there, that should be fine. Everything over there is just like decor stuff that I'm gonna use. So I got this one a couple weeks ago. It was at Home Goods. It was a good um, buy. It was $79.99 and it was just what I was looking for based on that pin that I saw. She, on her pin, she stated that her comforter or duvet cover and pillow sets came from Ikea. Ikea no longer carries that. So I had to really do some digging and Amazon has something similar but I wasn't a fan of it and it was really expensive because the duvet cover or their comforter was almost $130. Um, shams are not included with the duvet, so that's just another $55, I think, uh, per sh uh, pillowcase. So this one was the comforter and two pillowcases for 80 bucks. So I thought that was a good buy. And I'm also keeping this, so I'm just adding this to this because um, I like the layering look and I just like how that's going to 
combined together. In my mind, it works. And according to the pen that I saw, it works. So we'll see if it actually works for my room. So I think these are so cute and they look quilty too. I just like the color. It's, I don't know if the camera's uh, picking up the actual color, but it's not like dark blue. It's like this really nice light, almost blue jean blue and it's really cute. These are what I have, so I'll have to go to the store and get some fluffy pillows to just make those a little bit more comfy looking. I'm keeping these creamy ones and then keeping this one. I may replace it um, just because I don't think the blue matches. This looks more like blue-black than the blue in the stripes, but for now, that'll have to work. I was trying to see if I could save the other pillows that were here because I do like the print, but I don't think they match very well. I think, I don't know. I decided to bring the lamp so that I can see placement for um, the pictures. So I got some nails. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little hat situation here that I thought was really cute. I've always struggled to figure out what I wanted over the bed. I didn't want a like wood sign or pictures. I just wanted something that kind of looked relaxing and gave me that feel um, without having to change it all the time. So I just I'm gonna try this out, see if I like how it looks. So I got all these hats at the thrift store. Um, I wanted them for cheaper, but man, thrift stores have really um, gone up in pricing. Three to four dollars for hat was the range I was seeing. So that's kind of expensive, but I wanted the look. So I went ahead and bought it. Take this thing off. I think they look super cute up there um, and I like the placement so I'm getting excited. It would have looked a whole lot better if I had that back wall done but I know you know priorities. So it's looking a lot cuter than um, it was looking in here so I'm excited. So I put the lamp there that's gonna live in this area just to kind of gauge how high I want the portrait since I kind of don't want all this to be the same level. So it's good that I put those up so that way I have a better sense of height. Um, so I want these two to be the same height, but not the same height as the hat. do want to paint this console white it just doesn't look right this being black so I feel like it's too much dark and the whole point is to make this room light and airy so that might be something we do
So I have this basket, which I got at the thrift store for like five bucks. Um, I don't really know where I'm gonna put it just yet. Um, I've had that little stool that I also got at the thrift store for a while. The stool is one I've already had. It was another shade of color of green. I painted it a couple weeks ago with this makeover in mind. So it's just a different shade of green, but I really love it. It's very farmhousey. I'm gonna actually use that and put it over here because I feel like that side of the room is lacking something so i'm gonna go ahead and put that over there bowl i think you guys seen it before i thrifted it at goodwill months and months ago and then this I already had it it's an old picture from Hobby Lobby and some random greenery that I just stuck in there. For right here, I don't have anything, so I just thought about putting the basket here just to give it that cottagey look. Um, for now, just because I don't know what to do and it's just like weird spot until I figure something else out. I think that'll look cute here and it covers the outlet. Okay, so on this wall right here, I wanted to put like something with a hook, like maybe this old shutter that I had in the dining room and maybe put it um, on this side of the wall right there um, with a hook so that I can hang stuff, but it's too narrow. Um, so I'm thinking I'm not going to do that. So I have this other one right here. Um, it's a wooden accordion thing I bought at Goodwill a while back. Um, so I was just thinking of hanging that there. And, um, you know, it'll look pretty to have something hanging from it. Okay, so I somewhat painted. I... We'll have to get back to the sides and kind of clean it up a bit, but I kind of roughly painted it. It took about 30 minutes to just even get a first coat and it was really fast. So you can tell definitely in spots where it needs it. And then um, I really like the pulls on the, on this little furniture piece here. So all I did was painted the knobs um, brownish. So I added that basket, but I feel like something is needed here. Um, I might play with it some more even after this video, but for now I found this, I shopped my home and um, I found this little topiary um, arrangement. So I'm just gonna add it here in the corner like that. And then I got some books from the living room. Um, this green one, I feel like it matches the stool over there. And then just this blue one. So I'm just going to add them like that up here. I'm just going to give some interest. So I really enjoyed how everything turned out. It was exactly what I was envisioning, of course, on a uh, smaller budget, but this is a good 
you know, base for all the other stuff that I want to add. I want to add that accent wall and the sconces and then figure out what I want to do on the other side of the room. Luckily, my room's not that big, so the changes that are required on the other side are very small, but I'm excited and I love the way everything turned out, especially it was budget friendly. I hardly had to buy anything um, from the store, uh, just uh, obviously the comforter and the, the pictures, but everything else I was able to shop my home. I forgot to mention this at the beginning of my intro to the video, uh, but I did add it in text that this is a collaboration with a bunch of other ladies that are here on YouTube that love sharing their homes as well. We're all doing kind of different things. So I just um, hope that you give those other videos a watch. I will link um, the playlist on the description box down below so you can check all the other ladies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you here at Consider It All Joy. And I hope to see you again very soon in the next video. Bye.